Hey guys, it's Ashley and I do a boyfriend does my voiceover so that's what we're going to be doing today. I just did this makeup look um, and I'm going to have my boyfriend Brian do the voiceover so if you want to watch this funny attempt at my boyfriend doing the voiceover then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so first we're using this Pond's Cream. Um, well, psych, it's actually mayonnaise. I just really like mayonnaise, so I'm just gonna put it all over my face. And we're just gonna smear it in a little bit. It's just, it's a one, it's amazing what mayonnaise can do on your pores, like wow, wow, just everywhere. Next, we're gonna get this tube of urine looking substance, and I think uh, we just kind of mix that in. And uh, you just kind of want the full effect there, so. Get our little peanut and uh, just you know put it, put put it all around on our on our face. Yep. There's a closer look at that. Okay. Mm now we got our modern Renaissance and we get this creamy colored one. And what are we doing with it? Well, we got a little brush and we're uh, putting it on our eyelids so we can't see how veiny they are. And uh, we're just trying. The the goal here is to make them look as not human as possible. Okay, so we get this other plummy one, and uh, I'm gonna put it right, right, right there. Yep. Now uh, it's really hard to get it symmetrical, so we're just if we uh, we're just gonna keep on trying. Okay, maybe we're moving into uh, the browns and kind of the jelly colored ones there. Yep. Um, really going for the full Renaissance look. And uh, OMG, we got tape on our eyes as well. I forgot to point that out. Tape is very important. Um, in your school supplies list for this year and uh, Now we got our cypress umber. It's uh, has many earthy undertones like this tree and we're just uh, flicking flicking our eyebrows eyelashes there we're Just rubbing it rubbing it all in really nice nice just like that and the other eye just rubbing the rubbing it all in there nice and good Yes. Okay, so I think this look is really coming together now. Um, as you will see if you're following along with me. Now let's uh, take our finger, dip it in there in the silver wisp. Just uh, flicking our eye eyelashes again. You really want silvery dusted eyebrows so we can look like the little swan fairies of fall. It's a very nice look. Yes, and we're just uh, rubbing, rubbing that in as well. Cause you don't want too much just chilling up there got our brown goo and a big old brush and we're just putting it on there like that nice and smooth just like peanut butter yep because after the mayonnaise face you want to go into the peanut butter stage if you think this is cool you haven't even seen my final form yet and next step we're just getting it all in there on the cheeks Still got a big old glob on my nose, but yeah, we're just gonna get it on the forehead. Everywhere. All in there. So you can't even see it. Got our smaller bottle now, and you know it's more important because it's a lighter color and you have to use a small brush. So smaller bottles equal better stuff. Okay, we're going into our Pocahontas phase, and we're trying just to look like an Indian princess, but don't you worry, like we won't look like that forever because we're blending it with our peanut. Again, surprise. Yes, get right up in all your little crevices because we don't want any of that stuff hanging out on our face. Still got a little birthmark on our forehead, but um, that's important, trust me, okay? I, I don't know what I'm doing. You just, bam, we got smart bomb. And I don't really know what it is, but I'm smart because I buy it, and you should buy it too, because it, you can get it at Glamp356, where I work, and you can see me do this to myself and to you all day, and it's the best thing ever, honestly. Um, just really completes it all. Um, yes, this is just a shameless plug, but it really is great. See, look. Next, we got our butterfly cream. And uh, this process is we just comb it, 
comb the eyebrows and we get our scalpel brush. We are just kind of just flicking it, flicking it around. You know, you want to get the borders established on your face. You don't want your eyebrows going down and getting all over the place. You want to control them. We're just outlining the the comb eyebrow. And we're back we're look at that. We're back to the Renaissance. We're going back in time. And underneath. Ow, that really hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Why am I doing this? Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Ow. Oops, gotta fix my tape. Alright, now we're back. Underneath. And it's really important just to do it underneath as well because I mean, come on, we'd look ridiculous if it was just on top of our eyes, obviously. Um, just a little bit of orange highlight orange underneath and the pain it's almost over excruciating next up we got our tart it's great but don't taste it like it was just like what nasty okay but what you're actually supposed to use it for is on your cheeks believe it or not the name really just they shouldn't have named it that <laughs> but I figured it out eventually um, it kind of makes it look rosy. I, I, I think. I don't know what's happening. Why am I here? This isn't my voice. Oh my gosh, I think I let my boyfriend do my voiceover. Next, we got this. It gives us texture, and uh, after all of this goopy goopiness, we need to make our skin look like skin again. Um, so we're just spreading that around giving us some nice crustiness all in all the important areas and this just makes me so happy like wow what is happening right now this is awesome wow makeup is great finally we got our secret sauce and we're just spreading it on our lips making them nice and shiny so you can all see my beautiful smile and wow just look at how it just matches my eyes we really worked hard on this, and I know you're going to love it when it comes out looking like this. Mmm. Bam. Ooh. Mwah. Love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And get like me. Mwah.